Hi folks, this is Andy and welcome to my first Blender quick tip. This isn't enough for a tutorial but it's really cool and it really helps you kind of get a feeling for your Blender scene and how it relates to the real world. This is just the ordinary default scene with the cube but uh, I always wondered what size would that cube be if it was sitting in my backyard. Now all I have to do to figure that out is go over here where it says scene click this tab and then go down to where it says units and you can see right now none is selected and you have the choice of metric or imperial I'm going to choose imperial which is just feet and inches and so on and then to look at how many feet this is you go ahead and press 7 for top view and this is very important you put 5 to put it into an orthographic point of view because the perspective it won't be accurate. Now I'm going to grab this cube on the x-axis and move it sort of to the edge of one of these units and as as you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and a little over a half of one of those units and it's about the same on each side. So to figure out exactly what this is in feet feet you press N go up here and you see dimensions and that is the dimensions in feet of the default cube and as you can see it's 6.562 by 6.562 by 6.562 and if I wanted to change that let's say I want to make it the size of my backyard I have a pretty small backyard I live in the city so we don't get a lot I think it's 22 by 40 and I'll just make it one foot since I'm just basically doing this to give you an idea of what a backyard would look like and then if I go into the camera view you can see that and then if I want to I can put Suzanne in there just to give me an idea of what she would be like compared to the yard just press shift A and that will bring up the add menu and just go down to monkey and as you can see that's pretty big compared to my yard if I look at it from the camera's point of view it takes up a good chunk of my yard and the dimensions over here say 8.9 by 6.4 by 5.5 that's a big monkey head but it gives me almost it almost immediately allows me to picture it more in my backyard and it allows me to think wow that would look pretty big in my living room and if you could just get the measurements of whatever room you're in you can put the object in there at least in your mind and you can have a much better idea of what you're working with now you also have metric which can be a bit more accurate and easy to work with um, and as you zoom in you can see it changes from meters to ten centimeters to centimeters and then even if I zoom in enough it'll say millimeters and if I zoom out enough it'll say 10 meters 100 meters kilometers so you could actually if you were working with a large enough scene figure out how many square kilometers it was and that's about all I have to show you today but uh, I hope this helps you as much as it helped me, and I'll be back with another tutorial very soon. Have a good day.